Washington, 1963, the civil rights movement calls for a march for freedom and employment. Its most prominent representative is Dr. Martin Luther King. At the March on Washington, he dreams of a country free of racial discrimination, poverty, and war. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. Yeah. In 1964, Martin Luther King receives the Nobel Peace Prize. His achievements lead to President Johnson's signing of two important laws for the equal opportunity of the black population. In 1968, Martin Luther King was rallying support for a campaign to help the poor. On April 3rd of that year, he was standing on a motel balcony in Memphis, Tennessee, when an assassin took his life. Black athletes debated the form their protest would take. San Jose State Professor Harry Edwards called for a boycott of the games in Mexico City. By the way, you all should be learning about civil rights movement. Initially, I attempted to organize a boycott for Olympics, but I decided to ask few people. So, all those who are willing to complain, please step forward. After a year of debate over the boycott, black team members decided to join their fellow Olympians in Mexico City, but they were still uncertain about what to do to call attention to conditions in black America. Hello, Mr. Callas. I call you to discuss about anti-racism movement. Although the boycott has been decided, there are few things still Atlas could do to call attention. But remember, only a non-violent protest, while all eyes are looking at Mexico City. This is the hottest 200-meter field ever assembled at the Olympic Games. Second attempt now to get them away. Peter Norman did get a good start, I thought. Smith is doing well. His leg seems to be standing up okay. Look at Carlos going in the center of the field, and Questad is not beaten by any means. Peter Norman running beautifully, and he's got them uh, heading into the 100 meters. Peter Norman is flying on the outside. Here comes Eigen Hare of West Germany. He's a threat. So too is uh, the uh, Trinidadian Roberts. In the center of the field is Tommy Smith running through, and Peter Norman runs up play. Smith pulled muscle and all. Couldn't have pulled it that badly. He beat John Carlos. And Peter Norman could have run a second place. Whether second or third, it was a great performance. What happened? You forgot the gloves? Damn man, what should I do now? But we have only one pair. Why don't you both wear the gloves? Just wear one piece. Yeah, it's a nice idea. Well, do you want to participate with us? Absolutely. What can you do? What does this badge represent? This is a OPHR badge. It represents human rights. Olympic victory ceremony, 200 meters, men. Medals will be presented by the Marquis of Exeter, Doyen, member of the International Olympic Committee.
artist Tommy Smith and John Carlos stunned the world by raising their gloved fists in protest. Do you think that the Olympics are the right place to do these kinds of things? We did this so the whole world could see the poverty of black people in America. What did the gestures you made at the podium mean? My raised hand stood for power in black America. Carlos raised hand stood for unity in black America. Together, they formed an arc of unity and power. The black scarf around my neck stood for black power. The black sock with no shoes stood for black power. The totality of our efforts was regaining of black people. What were your thoughts when you raised that fist? Uh, the first thing I thought was that the shackles have been broken. Because what have we done couldn't be taken back. The greatest problem is we are all afraid to offend our oppressors. I had a moral obligation to step up. Morality was a far greater force than the rules and regulations that they had. So I stepped up and said to myself, I'm going to have to do this myself. When this thing is done, it can't be taken back. I know that it sounds like a lot of thoughts for just a few moments standing on a podium. But honestly, this was all zigzagging through my brain like lightning bolts. Hello? Carlos, you are in danger. Leave Mexican Olympic Village in 48 hours. Smith and Carlos did make a difference since their medals were included in the final count. Their symbolic gesture inspired millions around the world. Smith and Carlos were expelled from Olympic Village. Their athletic careers were ruined. For years they received death threats and were treated like traitors to their country. They couldn't find good jobs. Their wives and children suffered. But real courage means standing up when it's not popular. And real men and real women don't ask permission to raise their fists.